We're with head coach Larry Subberg for the baseball team's three-game series with St. Louis this weekend. Uh, coach is the St. Louis club that comes in four and five. They're picked fourth in the conference. They won it last year. Uh, what do you know about this club? Well, surprisingly, they lost two out of three to St. Joe's, and uh, then they lost two out of three to Rhode Island. But Rhode Island's a very good club. Uh, and then they turned that right around last week and won two out of three from Charlotte, who's nationally ranked and leading the country in earned run average. So uh, obviously they uh, straightened things out a little bit and uh, got themselves right back in the hunt uh, for the uh, conference uh, playoffs. All right, for you guys, um, all 11 of your wins you scored first. And when you're trailing after four, you're 0-12. So uh, what does jumping out early in these games mean? Well, I think for us it allows us to keep adding a run, adding a run by being aggressive of uh, stealing bunting for hits, sacrifice bunting, and playing for a run. When we get behind by two or three runs, uh, we haven't been a team that uh, can put crooked numbers on the board. So I think uh, scoring early and being able to add uh, has been a uh, plus for us. You mentioned stealing in there. Uh, St. Louis is 51 for 63 stealing on the, on the year. Um, is, uh, is the base pass going to be an issue this week for you guys? Well, I don't think so. I mean, as many games as they've played at this point, that's not a, a huge number of steals. They've got a couple guys who can run, and most teams do. Uh, we only have one, really, that's a plus runner this year, but most teams have two guys that can run, and, and they really have two guys that are above average runners and then another guy or two that will chip in. All right, uh, you have Jordan Crane going uh, one game this weekend. Uh, he's 097 lefties are hitting against him. Is there any re rhyme or reason for that as a right-handed pitcher? Well, you'd like to say that it's his changeup, but that's actually not his best pitch. So uh, I think he's just been able to spot the ball very well against left-handers, and it certainly gives him an advantage because uh, other teams uh, do not know that. And, uh, you know, when they come in against a right-handed pitcher, they're going to load the lineup with lefties, and he's certainly been very good at getting them out. All right, and finally, uh, Darren Hedrickson, St. Louis's coach, comes in, 599 wins. You have 557. That's 1,156 wins combined. Um, can you remember a time where you, you mesh up with another coach that has just as many wins? or this many wins? Yeah, I can remember a time when we would match up with Skippy Wilson from Temple, who has 1,047, so <laughs> yeah. that's quite a few wins. Uh, but uh, And there's some other guys in the conference, obviously, that we've played that, uh, and out of the conference that have uh, had quite a few wins, too. But uh, uh, obviously, uh, Skippy Wilson's a little – he was 47 years at Temple, so a little different than all of us. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck. Thank you.